welcome back to another video. This is Alex and today taking the swing Copeland out for a test ride. If you haven't seen the initial impressions video, I'll leave a link for you down here uh, up here. So make sure you check it out. And if you haven't, please go ahead and consider subscribing. If you want to support the channel, link down in the description. Other than that, let's get ready and let's ride. Alright, so here we are on the gravel road on my local trail and this is where i'm gonna be testing this hybrid bike again it's a swing copeland mainly because i don't trust that fork i haven't done anything to it i haven't even tighten anything up, adjust the brake, nothing. Just as it comes from Walmart. Chain drop. Since we're on it, this twist shifters, oh my god, the rear shifts okay, although I've been hearing it, wanted to change by itself, like kind of jumping a little bit, but what I'm mostly concerned about is the front the reason being is because it's a gamble like every time you make a shift especially when you go to the largest uh, chain ring it tends to do whatever it wants it's not adjusted properly and the chain falls off bad like over here the edge is right here however the arrow is all the way down here now one thing i do like about this bike are the tires the reason being this is a gravel kind of bike like a hybrid bike and those almost they're not slicks but they're gravel tires i can tell and in this gravel road even though juice rained they're doing phenomenal they are not sinking in like any other mountain bike tire will do and i like that about this thing and the fork you can see it doing its thing going over little bumps absorbing it's perfect for this kind of riding that's why i don't want to take it to the trail because it wouldn't be a fair review but all these little bumps easy peasy Now these brakes, what brakes? This thing does not break at all. As is out of the store. I'm pretty sure I can make it work a little better once I adjust it. But as they are right now, they're unoperable. Let's hope some adjusting will do and go from there. Now cornering in las esquinas, en las vueltas.
very playful can't really feel the heaviness the weight of this bike on the corners which is a plus final top. okay so final tops let's look at this bike for what it is and what this is is a warmer bike really budget warmer bike kind of a hybrid it's actually a hybrid but of course it's a low-end hybrid but for 86 dollars 80 90 something dollars with taxes that i pay for this thing it kind of impressed me for what it can do like i said i don't want to take this bike to the actual trail because it's not fair this is not what this bike is designed to do so i took it to a very comfortable gravel road in which this bike excels now besides the gearing problem no problem i mean like i said i'm gonna adjust this and it's gonna end up just just fine however the uh i think the the high gear is a 14 uh cog right here and even being on the high gear on the front as well i'm having trouble getting to speed i can't get fast and that's something because of the uh the gearing ratio that this thing has now this bike does have a lot of room for potential upgrades like some of the things that i can do is right away replace the pedal because these are plastic replace the crown cars maybe make it a one by and put a a mega range uh free wheel on the back and that will solve this issue brakes can be adjusted they can also be upgraded to um entry level tectro or a zoom or anything hydraulic and it'll give you much better on the front because you can find just the front by itself for a relative relatively very low price and the handlebar this can be upgraded really easy like i said the adapter that i got it was like ten dollars if that's something that you want to see in this channel let me know the saddle i didn't talk about the saddle the saddle is actually pretty comfortable i have no complaints about it and other than that this is a really good bike i actually like it i dig the way it looks the flat bright uh blue paint light blue paint over here is a perfect color the combination with the black wheels and everything is just looks really i really like it i really really do like this bike like i said if anybody knows how to potentially upgrade this fork it's a one inch fork uh, tube threaded uh, tube and i know there's sell conversions over here i haven't found them but if you've done something like that before let me know and uh or send me a link to the correct parts and i will be happily and glad to do something like that especially if you want to see it on the channel let me know so my thoughts on this bike for this price i'm gonna say that i fall in love with this bike it's a really capable bike for what it is for commuting for gravel casual riding and maybe even some light trails without any drops or major things like that because you're not gonna get too far on climbs or uh rooty trails with those tires but it, it is a really capable bike i really like it let me know what you guys think about this bike like i said if you like this bike let me know down in the comments if you have something similar to this also let me know let me know what you have on what upgrades you've done so far other than that i hope you like this video if you learned something today make sure you hit the thumbs up button don't forget to comment share and subscribe and i'll see you on the trails goodbye